Hey guys, welcome to Kali Style Guide. My name is Thomas, and uh, today I'm just going to explain what Kali Style Guide is and how you can use it. Uh, so, Kali just stands for beautiful in Greek. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but never mind. And uh, Kali is actually a living style guide. So, what that means is uh, your CSS, it's a documentation for your CSS, and it's uh, so your CSS and documentation never go out of sync. And uh, we're going to do that today, and uh, I'll show you how. So, um, Kali has no dependencies <coughs> and uh, it just simply runs in your browser so if you see the getting started steps all you have to do is download the repository using git and serve it on your HTTP server um, as you can see I'm running it on my local host up here and uh, this is just the default configuration uh, so I'm going to jump over to my code editor the way you can uh, specify what CSS well actually I'll jump and show you back what Kali does so um, here we go. I have uh, theme.css, and this is simply the style for Kali itself. We can see that uh, it's quite like Bootstrap. So what we're going to do is uh, show our our actual UI components that our CSS generates, and the HTML to do it. Um, this makes it easier for developers who are coming onto your project, or even just in an open source community, to be able to just copy and paste the HTML as you do with libraries such as Bootstrap. And uh, this is all, all automatically generated once you point it at your style sheet. So to point it at your style sheet, we have a config.js. Um, at the moment, it's defined to just point at Kali's default CSS, so styles.css. But you can point it at a, a menu path, so it can be an absolute address or anywhere on the internet. And uh, you can also configure it to have multiple paths uh, with an array. And uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you uh, the power of Kali. So what you see on the home page is actually uh, auto-generated from, from the CSS itself. So this is the styles.css uh, file that is pointed at by the config. And if we jump in and have a look at it, we can see that uh, in, our, in the style sheet we have a comments. And inside those comments, we use Markdown to uh, document our actual code. Uh, the good thing about using Markdown is that it's a it's a text format that looks uh, is readable uh, regardless of where it is. So if you stop using Kali, at least your documentation in your code will still be readable, if not more readable, with uh, using hashtags and bullet points. Uh, so quickly, I'm just going to show you that if I delete some of this code. So I'm going to delete uh, the getting started comments. Um, then if I refresh the page, we can see that the documentation now excludes that. So this is the, the living part of the style sheet that it, it maps, it syncs to your docu uh, CSS code. So what I'm going to do is uh, import another style sheet that we can use as a quick example. And I'm just going to call it example.css and I'll create it in my editor over here called example.css. Now there's nothing in this style sheet right now, so if I just refresh the page over here, I can see that example.css has appeared. But when I click on it, nothing happens at the moment because we didn't put any content in. So I'm just going to throw a comment in to begin with, and I'm going to say this is an example style sheet and refresh that and you can see that it created a little white box and nothing else so that's great um, and that's just a plain text comment but we can see that if I use uh, markdown so a hashtag means a, a heading in markdown and if I refresh it we can see that it creates a heading uh, here we are going to create an example button. So if I just refresh that again, we can see that it comes up. Now, I'm actually going to write some CSS. Uh, so I'm going to write how, uh, let's say, a blue button. And I didn't end that code properly just there. So this blue button is just going to have a background of blue. RGB, no border, and uh, font 
no color make it see eb 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 and that's great but uh, at the moment this CSS if we wanted to demo it we would have to uh, go into our, our normal development environment and create it but with uh, Kali we can actually create a code block which is a markdown semantic and uh, what this in markdown this essentially means I want to display some code but the way Kali treats this is not only does it show it in your documentation but also renders what you throw in here so if we create a, we say a button and we say that uh, actually what we'll do is we create a new section so for this blue button we're going to document it and say this is the blue button example and now I'm going to create the code block and put in the HTML for a button and the class equals blue button Now, if I refresh, hopefully we should see what's happened here. So what's what we've done is um, this entire box here is rendered from the code code, uh, code block, and uh, all it's done is rendered this HTML inside here, and then simply displayed the HTML below it. And this is based off the style we have here. And uh, we can go on. Let's say we want to have a green button. and we'll call it the green button example and if we refresh that we can see that we have a green button example so essentially all we're going to do is document our CSS as we go and then not only do we get the benefits of documentation in our code but you can also get a visual representation through Kali and uh, there's a few other added benefits of using Kali uh, a good feature about it is that you can actually de uh, develop your components in isolation so we develop it here so let's say we wanted padding on this blue button but if we change it on the website it's it's a bit volatile as to what can actually change but when we test it here we know for certain that this is what it will look like so we can say padding is 10 pixels and voila that's beautiful much better uh, Kali also comes with a few extra features um, we have SAS support at the moment and still looking to support less Actually, we have less support, and we need SAS support, so we're looking for co contributors. But uh, we're just going to... Kali's built in to have... Uh, let's say we wanted to test uh, paragraphs, and our styling for paragraphs. So I might create a new, a new documentation. And um, our paragraphs are going to be underlined. So text decoration on the line and we want to call this our paragraph example but in our documentation we don't necessarily want to write uh, dummy content so I'm not going to write a, a paragraph here and I don't want to fill up my documentation with lots and lots of nonsense stuff so uh, Kali actually has support for a library called Fixie, and what Fixie does is it auto-generates content. So if we refresh this, we can see that Fixie has automatically generated the uh, the uh, text, and uh, if we refresh, it always generates a new one. And this is just a library, and it can be used for lots of different things, even images. But we can say a H1 class is Fixie. 